I am at the post office, even though it's a federal holiday and it is closed because I sold that perfume again, the French perfume that the buyer last week started asking a bunch of questions, asked me to cancel it, so I did. I sold it again the next day for $134. I paid 35. Three hours later, the buyer asked to cancel for the second time, different buyer. So I hadn't marked it shipped yet. So Macari after 24 hours will automatically just cancel the sale. She will get a feedback on her account that says buyer canceled the sale. This morning I sold it again for $134. My net profit is $88. I am dropping this off even though the post office is closed, I'm dropping it off in the bin. That way, if this buyer contacts me today to ask if I will cancel it, I won't feel guilty for not doing it or guilt into doing it. Or It is going into the post office. Done. The oddest thing happened, that perfume I dropped off at the post office yesterday started tracking. Yesterday was a federal holiday. The post office was supposed to be closed. So I don't know who was working, but thank you for marking that shipped and out of here. At one in the morning, it made it to the distribution center. So right now it's going to its new owner and I hope that she's totally happy with it. I had a few sales across multiple platforms. So we'll get started with Macari. I sold this Brainiac Good Chemistry perfume. The scent is discontinued. I bought these on their website when I heard that, that these scents were getting discontinued and I just held on to it. it smells so good. Sold for $118 on Macari and so my net profit was $88 on this. So if you ever see the Brainiac. I sold the Olay Orchids Discontinued Lotion. This one's with the pump. This was a used product. I received an offer for $34. My net profit was 16, I paid shipping. I bought these in a bag of beauty for $10. There was one that I've already sold that was brand new for 50, $55. It's in a previous beauty. I don't remember how much I sold it for. Anyway, yeah. So something definitely to look for. If you can find it in new condition, you can get way more than $34 with free shipping. It works. I love selling this brand. Sold this on Macari for $30. I paid shipping, my net profit was $16. It's going to somebody who lives in my town. <laughs> so she'll be getting this in a couple days. I picked this up at Goodwill, Walla Bag. $4 for the bag, got two listings out of the bag. The second item in that bag was new skin face masks, which have shown very little interest, but we shall see. This was the first thing to sell out of that bag. I had this on Macari under the brand Avon, but it's actually a Mary Kay perfume cologne genji picked this up at a thrift store for four dollars sold it on macari for 59 buyer piece shipping full price sale my net profit was 46 dollars so as soon as i changed the to the right brand it's it's sold within like two weeks i went through all my listings just to going through them and just making sure there was no errors and whatever and then i spotted that i'm like oh no i've had this listed forever under the wrong brand no wonder it's been sitting for so long we sold the lipstick on Macari and it's so funny the buyer sent me an offer $21 and plus shipping so my net profit is about $16 on this this is the NYC the color is flirty and it has a cracked case the same buyer came to me on Bonanza and bought the same color flirty for $27 the thing is, is I netted more on Macari than I did on Bonanza. Macari, I made, netted 16. Bonanza, Bonanza, I netted 14. Same buyer. I just thought it was funny that she bought for me off of two different platforms. Happens sometimes, but not very often. eBay. I sold another lipstick. Same NYC. Color is Sugar Plum 418. If you ever see these little lipsticks, pick them up. They are a hot commodity. Sold for $24, net profit $16. I paid like $3 for these three lipsticks. John Frieda Crystal Clear Hairspray. This is a discontinued product. Sold it on eBay for $65. Repeat buyer, it says. Love selling these. I picked these up when I heard they were going to be discontinued and I just held on to them. And I'm starting to slowly raise my price since other sellers are selling out. I ship them in these boxes that I get on Amazon. I've shared this a few times. Hairspray fits perfect in these boxes. Looks just like that, weighs 15 ounces. So very, uh, doesn't cost much to ship at all. $6.78 to 
ship that hairspray. My net profit on the hairspray is $55. And uh, I had another Bonanza sale. This is kind of odd. Deodorant. Vanity cream, anti-perisprint, I can't pronounce that. Deodorant, expired March, 2023. I picked these up at a locally owned pharmacy. This deodorant is a short-term shortage. So it is a very, very popular product, but the brand is having a hard time getting it manufactured. So the shortage is supposed to end winter, 2024. If you ever see this deodorant with the blue lid, you can easily get $35 a unit on eBay, Poshmark, Macari, whatever platform you like to sell on. A buyer came in and bought all my units on Bonanza for $130. So after PayPal fees, Bonanza fees, and shipping, my net profit was only $61. The problem with this with Bonanza is they charge me 19.2% to sell on their platform. Plus on top of that, I have to pay PayPal fees. So it kind of really bites into your net profit, but I couldn't list these on eBay because they were expired. The expiration date is always on the bottom. So take a look. Locally owned independent pharmacies is where you're going to find these. Like, let's say you're at the medical center and you had to go see a doctor and you pop into the pharmacy in the medical center to pick up a prescription. Just check. They might have these sitting there. Those are the kind of pharmacies that I source out and then like the mom and pop, of course. Hi. Yesterday, I did not make a video because I woke up in the morning and I was like, I'm going to Canada to go sourcing. So I went up to Canada, went to Value Villages up there, had a great day, just hanging out by myself, <laughs> but it was fun. So I have a couple of things to share with you. We will get started with these hefty zoo plates that I sold on eBay. I picked these up at Goodwill for $4. They're these animal, they're called the zoo plates, different characters. These are the, the early edition ones. Um, they did do a re-release because so many millennials request, requesting Hefty to put them out again. So you can buy these on Amazon for like $17 in new condition. But these are like the original, and so I think that's why I sold them for $26, nine plates on eBay, or some resistance on Instagram when I share it in my stories. People are like, you know those came out already and all this. But I'm like, yeah, yeah, but these are totally different. These are like the original, the OG plate. I did $13 on those plates that aren't even in the package. So who knows what they're gonna do with them. I don't know if they're gonna eat off of them. I hope not. Uh, Anyway, I just thought that was funny. Okay, the next thing that sold on eBay was this Neutrogena Men's Post Shave Lotion. I picked this up at a mini mart. The whole Neutrogena Men's line is discontinued. It does extremely well on Amazon. I did not sell this on Amazon because the packaging is has like shelfware. It's been, it's kind of like sunwear, whatever you want to call it. It's been sitting for a long time on that shelf. Sold for $36, my net profit was $22 for the Neutrogena. Something to definitely be on your lookout for, on the lookout for. <laughs> All right, Pier 1 Imports Discontinued Scent, Amber Musk. These reed oils do really well if you can find the hot discontinued scents like cilantro. I'm gonna draw a blank now. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I can't remember any more than cilantro. I'm sorry. It's like just went right over my head. Oceans. I've, I've shared a few of them. So anyway, sold this for, I sent offers to liker or watchers on eBay, sold it for $65. It's a partial use bottle. My, I paid a dollar, $2, something like that. So my net profit on this was $47. Okay, another eBay sale is this Car Wax, Mother's Sin Wax. I picked this up at a locally owned auto parts store. Never seen it before. The reason I picked it up is because the shell, the packaging was like had sunwear. So I know it's been sitting there for a long time. And so that's usually a clue to me that's, that something's going to be discontinued or popular. I don't know why, I just, what my gut tells me 
There was no eBay comps on this. I paid $15. I sold it on eBay for $69. My net profit was dun, 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 $39. I think that if I, it sold rather quickly too. If I was to see it again, I would definitely ask more than $69. So keep that in mind if you ever see it. I love sourcing at locally owned auto parts stores or even Napa. I'm really into the discontinued car waxes right now. I've shared a few of them on this channel. There is money to be made in discontinued car wax, car wash, car wax, car wash products. You just need to know what to look for. Okay, so I was, I'm so excited about the next, the next sale. Sold this on Bonanza. This is, I got a Vero on this. This is the Dead Sea. I did a video on my Vero's that I have recently received. This sold on Bonanza for $29. So glad it's gone. I paid five. My net profit was $10 and a peace of mind because it's gone. I don't have ever deal with that again. We'll never buy that again. Don't ever put Dead Sea products on eBay because you will get a Vero, a policy violation that could affect your, have a really negative effect on your selling dashboard, count health, whatever you want to call it. Macari. I had a Macari sell new skin bronzing pearls. I picked these up at a consignment shop. I have never sold this before, meaning bronzing pearls. I sell a lot of new skin products. This is what they look like. I thought it was kind of interesting. Like the little pearls. Oops. Sold it on Macari for uh, $32. I paid shipping. My net profit on the new colors was $19. Well, it's Friday, and so that means I'm heading to estate sales. I'm so excited. I have two to go to today. I just love sourcing at estate sales because I can hit up the bedroom, the bathroom, the garage, the laundry room, the kitchen. So much. <laughs> opportunity to be made. All right, so I sold a couple things. I want to share those with you. Let's we'll start with Macari. This is the soft soap body butter in strawberry smoother. It is a discontinued product. I sold this in used condition. You can see the fill lines like right there. Sold this in used condition on Macari for $26. My net profit was 10 bucks. But what tells me about this is if I see this in a retail store or a pharmacy, I'm definitely buying this to flip on Amazon. I think I can get easily $50 a unit in new condition. So I'm keeping my eye out on that. The second thing I sold was on eBay and it's this Poison Ivy Burt's, whoops, Burt's Bees Poison Ivy Soap. I got this in wall bags. It came in the remedy kit. And in that kit, there's all kinds of things but there was one important thing missing and that was the lifeguard lip balm, which easily can get $100 on eBay for. It is a very popular discontinued product. It was supposed to come in the kit. <clears throat> Here's the list of items and that was on there. The only thing that I sold out of the kit so far was the poison ivy soap, which is not even a full size. Sold it for $38. My net profit was $24. That concludes this week of sales. I just want to say thank you so much for all the positive messages, comments on YouTube here. And it really means a lot to me and it really does help me get through the hard times. And I'm hoping that there's not very many more of those, but it's part of reselling and that's just how it goes. I will see you guys next week. Have a great weekend.